In today's video, I'm going to show you how my husband made me a bath tray for my tub. I love to take relaxing baths and I think it turned out great. It's super easy, guys. Stay tuned. Hey, lovely people. Okay, now we are getting ready to start on the tray. I'm going to show you the original look that we were going to go for per Mr. Richard. Original plan, we were gonna actually do the tray. This is the piece this is gonna be underneath to keep it from sliding down and falling into the tub. We were gonna originally do like a lip around it, but we decided against that because I just want more of a, just a clean, modern look. So we're not gonna do that. Um, let me show you the handles that I chose. So here is the handles. And this is called a, uh, Champagne bronze is what it's called. Okay. So that's the style. So it's going to sit like that. All right. So let's see what he's about to do. What you about to do, Richard? I'm getting ready to cut her measurements. She wanted these measurements, so I'm going to try my best to cut them. If it's wrong, it's hers. <laughs> What are you gonna say? It's wrong. It's me. How you pick? you pick it at? It's wrong. It's me. Why it gotta be me? Maybe you just don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you don't want me showing him. Okay, so we're cutting the 39, 30. What do we say? 38 inches, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we're cutting the 38 inches. He ain't got no safety glasses on. Oh, yeah, safety first. Myself. Safety first. He's doing now. He's, he's making a straight line to make sure he cuts my wood right and he don't mess my stuff up. Isn't that right, Richard? Nope. <laughs> wow, well, I'm going to do a thing like that. Now the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to, we already had this piece cut. This was left over from the little uh, circle table that we made. So what are we using? We're using this for the bottom pieces that's gonna be at the edge to keep it from falling into the tub and as well as the two pieces to put on the top to mount so you can put your tablet there. So we're gonna actually put two pieces let your tablet stand there and that's going to be good to go. I can put my phone there or my tablet. It's going to be great. So back in the house, we've got the board, which is going to be the bath tray. And we got four pieces of wood cut. Two is going to be the braces for the bottom. And two is going to hold the iPhone or iPad. So let me show you what I'm deciding to do. Because I feel like if I stand them up like this, let's get my tablet. Now that's what I wanted to do. All right, now I've set the board up here. There you go. You can see it. It's sitting up there. All right, now I gotta determine where to put my little brace pieces. Cause this is what I want it to do. I want it to just sit like right there. Let me see if I can get y'all a good view. It's gonna be sitting right there like that. So when you take it up, it's gonna be like that. And then it's just gonna boop, just sit right there. So I recommend, since we got it there, to get my pencil and I'm just going to mark it right here with the pencil. So when my husband gets ready to screw it back on, he will be able to know where to just lay it flush up against. And then we got a good tight fit. If I liquid nail it or screw it, either way, if you don't want to have, you don't have a screwdriver, just get you some liquid nail or some type of glue that's going to stick it. But, um, I'm going to probably just happen to screw it. Cause y'all know I'm a quick DIYer. I want to be able to, I don't want to have to wait for stuff to dry. I want to be able to go on and use it. Okay. So I'm going to mark it with my pencil. 
and we're gonna be ready to go. Okay, so what we're about to do is countersink the whole. So now it's on the ledges on the little pieces to make it not slide. It's on and it's a perfect fit. All right, so now what we're gonna do since the board is 38 inches across, we're going to measure 19 in the middle and then we're gonna put the braces in the middle. First of all, lovely people, first of all, this sucker trying to say that I haven't got over oh, his nerves. <laughs> lovely people with their shoes. This is where we got to have enough space to slide the cell phone and slide the tablet. It's very important. It's gonna be made according to the thickness of your cell phone, but we're gonna drill from the bottom up. So because we're gonna drill from the bottom up, I'm going to, I nice. marked it with my pencil. We set it there. We marked this side with the pencil. We marked that side with the pencil, okay? And then all we gonna do is we gonna measure the distance on this side, go on the back and drill the holes. Very simple. So from the bottom, my husband is drilling the bottom side just so it makes it easier for the screw to go through so it can get to the block on the top. Now my husband is screwing from the bottom of the tray into the blocks that's going to hold the iPhone or iPad. Okay, so this is the paint that I'm going to use. I actually use this paint to paint some other things in my house. So, but I like the paint. Kind of mix it with water and make it like a wash. Okay, there it's Shoreline Haze is the paint and it's by Bayer. All right, so let's get started. I need to stir it up really good. Now what I decided to do was I mix some water with the paint because originally I wanted to do like a wash technique, but then I just added a little more paint. I wanted it to be a little more coated because you know the bottom side is going to be the side that is going to be facing the water so i did cover it pretty good if you wanted to clear coat it you could if you wanted to stain it you know that's just up to you i did not clear coat it i actually do have a spray clear coat that i could put on it i may do that later but i did go ahead and just painted it i painted both i let it dry and then i'm going to show you what I did as far as the top because I did want to kind of mimic the picture that is above the tub in my bathroom. I painted that so I wanted it to kind of have that same look. I painted this picture and I used the same paint that I'm painting the bath tray with and I also did the like the gold brush with a dry brush. It's a chip brush. So I did the dry brush technique I applied it with the chip brush. This is the paint that I used. It is a metallic paint. I really love this paint. I use it quite often and I applied it with this chip brush. You can get that at your home repair store. All right, lovely people, what do you think? The tray is finished. It is complete and ready to go. I wanna give a special shout out to my husband, Richard, for being patient with me and making my bath tray. Thank you so much, love bug. All right, I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was fun for you. Let me know in the comments below of this video what you think and if you're gonna make you a bath tray, if you feel inspired. Now, it was not very expensive because the piece of wood was like eight, nine dollars, almost nine dollars. So it was an eight foot piece of wood 
so I can actually make something else. And then the center pieces to hold the tablet was scrap wood from another project when we made a seat table, okay? So that's it, guys. If you're not already a lovely person, please hit the subscribe button so you will not miss any of my videos. And remember, click to save and you will be amazed. Bye-bye.